scripture, the finest frontier. These are the voyages of Skylab Omega. It's five month mission to spread the gospel across the galaxy, to share God's love with civilization, to boldly go where one savior has gone before. Come with us now as we blast through the Bible with Commander Cosmos, Space Ranger. Hello, 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 kiddies. It is I, Professor Von Himmel. Welcome back aboard Skylab Omega. I had a special project that I was supposed to do with uh, Dr. Thumbnex. You haven't seen him, have you, Dr. Thumbnex? No. Wait, do you hear that? I hear him snoring. Is oh, he's snoring, sleeping again in the commander's chair, no less. Doctor Thorminix. Doctor Thorminix. And I'm going to rest. We'll stay at rest. We'll act around by an external force. Well, you remain at rest all the time. Oh, well, that's science. <laughs> well, that's great. But what are you doing in the commander's chair? Well, since the commander hurt his leg, I I thought I would help him out by steering the ship. I've been up Ooh. all night trying to figure out how this keyboard works. <laughs> you were up all night? <laughs> uh, well, yeah, most of the night. <laughs> Uh, well, well, some of the night. <laughs> I, I've been trying to figure out what all these levers do. Like, ooh, like this button right here. Whoa! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I think that one is the brakes. Yeah, I think you're right. <laughs> You know, you know, uh, Dr. Summonex, you do not have to learn to drive the ship. Oh, well, I just thought that I would help him out. I was afraid the commander may, may, not, may not be able to get out of bed. You oh, know? actually, he's been getting around very well. Only he's in great spirits. Oh, yeah, I've... Oh, I'll set this down gently. Oh, yeah, let yeah, me Yeah, I've off. noticed, you know, if I hurt my leg, I'd be, I'd be limping around and, and, and crying and aching and... And sleeping... Dr. Sobenix. Dr. Sobenix! The boiling point of water is 100 degrees Celsius. <laughs> That's great, Dr. Sobenix. Yes. You know, Dr. Sobenix, you, you do not have to learn how to drive the ship. Oh. No, the commander will be fine. Yeah, you're right. Well, he's so brave. How does he do it? Well, it's not easy to be brave, but the Holy Spirit gives us Boldness, yes, <laughs> just like he did for Stephen. Oh, uh, who's Stephen? Oh, you don't know the story of Stephen? Oh, uh, you've got to hear that one. Well, I'll get the Bible out okay, right good, now. Good. <laughs> <laughs> did he fall asleep again? Help me wake him up. Dr. Salmonex, help me out. <laughs> the Bible. Will you hand me the Bible, please? Yes, yes. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Well, now you may not know this, but Stephen was the first martyr of the church. Oh, what's a martyr? Nothing. What's the matter with you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I cracked me up. <laughs> me too. Oh, but seriously, yes. a martyr is a person who is willing to sacrifice everything, even their life. To stand up for what they believe. Wow, I wish you could have met Stephen. He sounds so bold. Oh, he was. <laughs> the Bible says he was full of faith on the Holy Spirit and that he did great wonders and miraculous signs among the people. Well, wow, everyone must have loved him. <laughs> oh, not the religious leaders in the synagogue. Oh, let mm. me guess. They didn't like their competition. Mm, something like that, yes. They argued with Stephen. But he was too wise for them. Because he was filled with the Holy Spirit? Yes! And then they took him to court. Oh, they took him to court for what? Blasphemy. What's blasphemy? Well, blasphemy is when you say or do something evil against God. Oh, but Stephen would never do that. <laughs> I know that, and you know that. Uh -huh. But the religious leaders, they just wanted to get rid of him. Oh, well, well, did Stephen defend himself? Oh, better than that. He boldly defended Jesus. He explained all of God's plan, beginning with Abraham and then Moses and all the way through until it was completed by God's son, Jesus. Wow, did that make the leaders, you know, uh, at least smile? Well, it made them grit their teeth, but I wouldn't exactly call it a smile. Oh. No, especially when Stephen reminded them that they were the ones who had plotted to have Jesus killed. Oh no, Stephen's in trouble now. He must have been filled with fear. Actually, Stephen was filled with the Holy Spirit. He looked up to heaven and said, look, 
I see heaven open and the Son of Man standing at the right hand of God. I get it. It's like God was showing Stephen that what he believed was true. Stephen always had his mind on God. Even when they dragged him out into the streets and threw stones at him. Oh, they threw stones at him. Where does it say that? Oh, why don't you read it for yourself in the virtual Bible? Okay. Yes. <laughs> oh, what does it say? While they were stoning him, Stephen prayed, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. Then he fell on his knees and cried out, Lord, do not hold this sin against them. When he had said this, he fell asleep. Hey, he prayed for his enemies and fell asleep just like I do. <laughs> oh, no, Dr. Salmonex. When the Bible says Stephen fell asleep, it means he died. Oh, Oh, that's so sad. Stephen didn't deserve that. Is he asleep again? Dr. Sominix? Dr. Sominix! Oh, sorry. Crying makes me sleepy. Everything makes you sleepy. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> you know what? The good news is that Stephen went to be with Jesus. Stephen's life showed us what it means to be faithful. Oh, you mean by serving others, speaking boldly about Jesus, mm -hmm. and praying for your enemies? Yes, exactly. And then after he died, all of the believers were scattered, and uh, they boldly spread the good news about Jesus to other places. So, even when our enemies harm us, the Holy Spirit can work through us? Yes! <laughs> no matter what is happening to us, the Bible promises that in all things God works for the good for those of us who love him. Wow. And that will always be true. <laughs> After all, you know what the commander always says. <laughs> Jesus, Jesus is the same, same yesterday, yesterday, today, today and, and forever! <laughs> so long, kids. We're going to go check out the commander. Make sure he's okay. Yeah, I think he is.